The more time I spend by myself alone reflecting, the more I realize how I should stop being so harsh on myself. Every single day I show up, I give myself enough water, I give myself enough sleep, I look after my physical and mental well-being, I take care of my skin, I have myself up in the mirror, I persevere through challenges which I might find difficult. And on top of the basic necessities that we all do every single day to look after ourselves, the most important part is that we never give up on ourselves. We never abandon ourselves in the times of struggle. This is constantly overlooked and it's something that we're not given enough credit for. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you found this video, it's definitely not by coincidence. So recently I actually got a little bit sick and I realized how well I was taking care of myself. I actually wrote a journal entry on this and I thought it would make the perfect YouTube videos. So I hope you guys do enjoy. You should appreciate yourself, you know, sometimes just give yourself a little hug, acknowledge your little small mistakes because that's what really matters in life is when you really truly appreciate who you are. Give yourself the attention that you deserve for example like a really extreme comparison would be if you're very sick give yourself the attention you need take the medicine that you need go to sleep seek the help that you need but if we're comparing it to day-to-day -day lives for example if you know if you're struggling with trauma any problems give yourself the attention that you need any problems in your life is just the same as any sickness that you can catch this is not narcissistic thinking simply loving yourself is not being a narcissist not being full of yourself it's simply showing appreciation for who you are what you've been through how well you've handled your situations so far in your life you are mostly responsible for everything even being alive today you are still living and breathing because you chose to stay alive and because you choose to show up for yourself every single day you chose to persevere through the hardest of times in your life even getting out of bed every single morning on the days that you don't want to. You should be proud of yourself for everything that you do. Yes, it's okay to push yourself to extremes, chasing your dreams, doing hard work to make success in your future. If you're going way too far and you're not prioritizing yourself, you're not putting your needs first, then I guarantee you, you're going to reach a point in your life where you can't go any further. You will feel incapable of fulfilling your life purpose if you don't even like yourself. Love yourself first and everything else will fall into place. When you love yourself first, everything in your life really does change. Like how you maintain your relationships, how you maintain that inner bond with yourself, how you deal with things in your workplace, school life. And overall, your whole outlook on life will drastically change when you learn to love and value yourself. Take the opportunity that you were given every single day, the opportunity of life. You're given that fresh start. Forgive yourself for the mistakes you've made. Make sure that you're waking up every single morning with that intention to become a better person than you were yesterday, to learn to love yourself more than you did yesterday, and to be grateful for the life that you have cultivated for yourself. The opportunity you're given every single morning, you're able to break unhealthy cycles and build positive new habits. And I want to remind you that you can never hate yourself into someone that you love. With that self-development, self-improvement mindset going around social media, sometimes I can see that it is pushed way too far with people pushing themselves. Never beat yourself up for what you've done. I see that a lot of people think tough love is going to make you love yourself and that makes no sense. You can never hate yourself into someone that you love. When you're trying to push yourself to become a better person, remind yourself that whatever you're doing should not stem from hatred. Your motivation should come from the love you have for yourself. When you're trying to complete a goal or set new habits, instead of thinking, right now I'm in such a horrible place, I suck, I'm so stupid, shift your perspective and be grateful for who you are today. And be happy that you're willing to change and you're willing to implement changes into your life, but never make it the root cause to hate yourself into someone that you love. It's called self-love, it's not called self-hate. I don't see why people need to beat themselves up in order to become a better person. Be willing to accept that you're going to make mistakes, you're going to fail at times, but that's no excuse to treat yourself like shit. But that's no excuse to treat yourself horribly. When you make a mistake, when you fail, it's okay. Don't beat yourself up for it. 
because it's not the end of the world. You're gonna get up from it and you're going to move on, you'll learn from your mistakes. We already have enough negativity in our lives coming from external places like social media, from your parents, your friends. We already have enough judgment on us from other people. So why are you adding to it and making it worse by judging yourself? When people notice that you actually really value yourself, you love yourself, and you have very, very strong values towards yourself, they realize that they should not disrespect you. They will be scared to cross your boundaries. What do you benefit from hating on yourself, from saying such negative comments toward yourself? You are gaining nothing. If anything, you are really destroying that relationship with yourself. You are stuck with yourself for the rest of your life, whether you like it or not. So start becoming that person that you love. Start becoming that person that you would love to wake up to every single morning. Start becoming a person that you are going to show up for. If you're going to spend maybe 80 years with yourself, why are you going to spend all that lifetime hating on yourself and being so negative? The key to success, the key to your life, beginning, the key to happiness, anything, Everything stems from self-love, stems from loving yourself. Please don't be harsh on yourself. You are only given one life. Whether you like it or not, you can't become another person. You can't become that person you see on social media. You can't become that person you see walking on the street. You are stuck by yourself. So make the necessary changes so the person that you are stuck with is someone that you love. That's just all I wanted to leave you guys on today. Whatever you choose to make out of this video is fully dependent on you. Whether you want to make changes in your life and whether you want to start loving yourself, I'm not able to do that through a screen. It is you who is going to make those changes and it is you who is going to become the better version of yourself if you put in the hard work and you know what to do. Be kinder to yourself, celebrate your small successes, and overall, just be proud of yourself. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I hope that whatever your dreams are or whatever you're working towards today will become a reality one day. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. And remember that life starts when you learn to love yourself.